DJ Bushcraft. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to put a tarp up. Well, the first thing you find, two trees. It doesn't really matter how far apart they are as long as they're further apart than the width of your tarp. And you need to look down, clear the ground underneath, get rid of any sharp twigs, sticks, anything like that, just give it a bit of a sweep. It's a lot easier to do now than when you put your tarp up. And you also need to look up. Make sure there's no dead branches or anything that's going to fall on you, anything like that. You don't want to wake up the branch on you in the middle of the night. Also, check that you're not on a game trail or a footpath. Make sure there's no deer tracks, anything like that around. You don't want to wake up with one of them stamping on you in the middle of the night. So once you've found your, your site, check it out, make sure it's all okay. We get the tarp. Right, so we take the string, ridge line, take it around the first tree, now if you're using a hammock you'd have this a bit further up, but I'm, I'm using a bivvy bag so I want it quite low down, so you put the ridge line round about chest height, and you take your line, Put it over your hand like so. Put your loose end around your fingers like so. Lift up, twist, and pull the end through. Just do that again for you. Take that's, that's your main string. This is your loose end. So it's around your fingers. Lift up, twist. Grab a loop of the loose end. Pull it. Tighten it up to the tree. That's that end done. And you take you take the string for the other side around your tree. Again, about chest height. And you take the string over that one. Just keep that full reason good height. Over that one, and then back around the string to get the tension on it and as you come back round again you then have a triangle here if you take a loop of string through that triangle and then take another loop and lock it off and that's your ridge line put up and just do that again so you can see it again go round the tree, pull it tight, round the string, that puts your tension into your line, back round the tree, and then you're left with a triangle. You see the triangle there? So you take your loose end, put a loop of it up through, take your loose end again, take another loop through that loop and lock it off and you've got a quick release knot just to undo and pull the whole thing undone. And then this loose end, rather than having it lying around, you can hang that up there. And that's just uh, kept out of the way then. So it's nice and neat and out of your way. Right, so now we need to tension the tarp itself. So for this one, if you take your string, the tarp's running on that string, you need a separate piece of string. Put it over the ridge line, round just the one, round again, around the two strings and pull a loop through. That gives you an adjustable lock knot that will slide. If you pull it, 
but once that string's pulling, it holds it tight. Now, so if we do the same at the other end, over the main string, round just the main string, twice, make a loop, pop another loop through, pull it tight. You've got your tensioning knot at that end of your tarp. So that's the main ridge of the tarp set up. Now you need some temp pegs. Just sharpen sticks will do for this, you don't need anything fancy. Now as you're pegging this out, if you look at the angle of the tarp there, you want that to be pulling at foot right on the corner, you don't want to be pulling that way, you don't want to be pulling that way, it's going to get ridges in the tarp when you've pegged it out. So if you have that pulling at a 40 feet, 5 degree angle, so we put the peg in, and then we use exactly the same knot as we use for the ridge line to tension the tarp up. So you've got your loose end, around once, around twice, around the single string, around both strings and pull it through into a loop and that's your tensioning knot for that. You do the same on both, on the two on one side but don't tighten them up too much until you've got the other side pegged out otherwise you'll end up with your tap pulled up across if you see what I mean. You do peg out the other, other corners Keep that 45 degree angle. Peg in. Exactly the same again. Round once, round the string once, round the string twice. string and round both strings pull a loop through and that's that. So we've pegged out all four corners now and at this stage you can just tighten them up so that your ridge line is pulling evenly either side of the tarp and your tarp should hang nice and straight and smooth. So that is how to put a tarp up. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.